The idea behind a gait analysis is to check running form and mechanics to make sure that a runner is as efficient as they can within their form and technique. The first thing I like to do with an athlete when they come in here is discuss their training history, if they've had any injuries or if they have any current injuries, and just what their concerns are and why they're coming in here to do a gait analysis. Then from there we put them on the treadmill and have them warm up. They get to take as much time as they need to warm up. And then we take them up to their training running pace and film them running there. The actual running time for a gait analysis really isn't that long. Most of the time is spent sitting down and going over what we see from the two views, uh, the side and the back. We go through and come up with a checklist of things that I send them with to work on on their own and then depending on what we see and how long we think it'll take to make some of those changes, we have them come back in and we reassess what we have already filmed and see where the changes have been made and what improvements there are. The thing that I address probably the most is stride angle and making sure that we can get that in an ideal range. The reason I like to focus on that is if you have a good stride angle, the rest of the gait cycle tends to fall right into place. I like to look at the shank angle, so the relation of their lower leg in, to, in relation to the running surface that they're on and check what that angle is. Make sure that their foot strike is ideal. As far as upper body mechanics, a crossover is very common, so we're trying to make sure that they're not crossing the midline of their body as they take their arms through motions. After they do a gait analysis and they take the information and they're applying it and they're developing new patterns and habits, we'll say that they feel like they can run faster and that they glide more or they're smooth or they don't feel like they're putting in as much effort as they used to to run the same distance at the same pace. With this treadmill, we're able to measure forces as well, and so we can use those forces to help us pick up on things that we maybe don't see as we're analyzing or to verify what we are seeing through a gait analysis as well. So the difference in what you get at a lot of other places that are checking form and technique is that we are able to measure forces. We can break that down, line it up with the stride and what they're doing and make sure that those are all ideal as well.